This is David with TechNewsZone.com, and uh, thanks to uh, AIO Robotics with their Gold PLA, the Lingus Test Review, and the Magigu, which we use some of that also on the um, GTEC E180. Which we've had the GTEC E180 for a little bit. It's not our primary printer, but it is actually really nice for school or educational environment. I did teaching for nine the last nine months. So I might going to be uh, in a program to teach as well. Uh, see how things work out in corporate America, but that's my backup plan. I'm also do educational events to help education and autism, but uh, but we're using the GTEC E180 to print out a um, rose in, in gold. It's a gold PLA that by the guys at G, uh, AIO Robotics, but it's a uh, gold PLA. I'm cooking it, or I say cooking it, I'm extruding it at about 213, 211 degrees. Um, it's PLA. I'm using the Magic Goo. It's a non heated bed on the GTEC E180. On my other printer, which is the Snapmaker, um, we're uh, printing a uh, hockey puck that I made on my own from um, the Golden Knights, the Las Vegas team. It did really well this year. I'm trying to make a hockey puck in the bronze AIO Robotics PLA because we got one roll of each. I love metallics, I love clear, I love color changing. Anything that's different, unique, uh, is cool. So I'm printing on both of my printers with AIO Robotics. This one's bronze, and then uh, we're using. Uh, I use Simplify 3D to uh, do the rows. It's a file I got off Thingiverse. The rows I got off Thingiverse. The Golden Knights um, puck I've got, I made myself. I got the logo off an image on the web, but I uh, made my own puck. So see how it comes out uh, uh, in Tinkercad. Uh, this is the GTEC E180. It's printing a um, golden rose. I did use this stuff on both printers. Seems pretty cool. Magigoo. Thanks, Magigoo. We uh, finally mentioned you guys. We've been using it for a while. I just forget to keep mentioning or using it. But it does work really well. And we did uh, get off Kickstarter um, a new print bed we're going to try out later called Easy PLZ. But it's like a flexible print surface, which once I get my jelly box too, if we ever get it, I'm going to use it on their print bed because it's uh, like a removable print surface. Kind of like a uh, print, um, print, what do you call that stuff? The... Uh, God, I'm getting old. But the print service I'm using now. Dremel uses it and the other guys use it. But And then another shout out to the Alien guys. Yes, I'm mentioning you guys again. We'll use your filament next, some of your samples. But at the moment I'm using the bronze and gold metallic. But this is David with TechNewsZone.com doing some tests with the AI Robotics filament.